Welcome back. Uh, I've just pressed record on this. I'm not sure how much value this video is going to be to anybody. But here is my Iwasaki razor in Tamahagani steel. And a couple of videos back, I sharpened this for the first time. Um, something that I do um, is I tinker with everything. And so it's my first experience with a, a razor in solid Tamahagani. It did extraordinarily well, extraordinarily well on the old packing peanut sharpness testing. Uh, I've shaved with it three times and it shaves extraordinarily well. It's a terrific razor. But, and this is the tinkering part, I don't know anything about this, this steel for a razor, especially a Western style razor. So, um, I'm going to push it a little bit and see where it goes. I'm going to show you a, uh, 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 an image, uh, a photograph of the edge, the center, the, the edge at the center of this razor magnified 940 times. And you'll see that it's in beautiful shape, especially at that level of magnification. Um, my skills aren't, aren't probably the best in the world, but I'm skilled enough to know that I can push this edge and, and um, not make it any worse. So, um, and perhaps make it a little better. So that's what I'm about today. Uh, let, me, let me pause you here and insert, um, insert that image. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're gonna get started here. The uh, stone has been flattened. This is my uh, Nakayama uh, Maruka Shuadani stone, or Shuhunyama stone. I think that's it, Shuhunyama. I'm terrible with these names and I apologize. It's, it's a little bit insulting to somebody who actually knows. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I'm, I'm back on this stone. I'm going to put a thin layer of water. And by the way, this is distilled water that I'm using uh, in this, this container that makes an awful noise. Uh, and so now we're gonna raise a uh, slurry with a diamond plate to uh, wet that, raise a slurry with the diamond plate. And what I'm going to be trying to do is, is, as I said, I'm going to use sort of the same techniques you've seen me use before. I'm just going to try to draw this out, see, see what happens. If I, and mostly this is going to be determined by a shave test. I expect that the edge is is going to look very similar to what you saw before in the in the photograph in the microscope photograph it is potentially going to look a little bit more toothy when i'm done because i'm going to draw it out more um, that microscope can show detail down to the micron level and so a toothy an edge that is has tiny teeth at the micron level is I've found through experience is um, kind of insignificant. For reference, the average human hair has a diameter of about 100 microns. So um, edge, edge errors in the uh, 100th of a uh, human hair um, diameter really aren't, aren't, aren't something that at least I can feel, and I'm fairly, fairly sensitive to this stuff. Um, all right, so let's yeah, let's let's go a little more. I'm gonna build a pretty good, pretty good thick All right, so let's uh, let's get going. Um, I'm as usual letting the Letting the abrasive, I'm letting the slurry do the work here. This edge is already good, so. So I shouldn't have to do too much. I'm just going to do my normal thing.
try to get at some of the some more of the slurry here. Doing some trailing edge to draw the so the previous strokes had to do with with really just doing some some refining. Uh, I did my both edge leading and edge trailing. So these were both edge leading and edge trailing strokes. Um, this is just just edge trailing. The purpose of this is to draw that edge out. I mentioned that before. I'll be doing a lot more of these. Um, I'm going to go from this Tomo slurry to a, I think I'm going to try plain water uh, and then maybe uh, soapy solution and we'll see what we see. I'm also um, probably going to strop uh, on linen, just linen, uh, just for a few times after after this after this stage. All right, so I'm I have no idea. Again, this is just tinkering. I do feel um, I do feel the edge actually. Um, Making, making, um, moving into the stone with a little bit more, um, a little bit better contact. Again, I, I did flatten this stone just before this, um, and I, I am... I am setting the razor down and just pushing it. I'm not, I'm actually, I guess I am applying a little torque because I, I kind of can't help myself, but I'm trying to really let the, um, the bevels float on this, this slurry. All right, I'm going to uh, see what we've got here. I, I, I fully expect that after doing this work, which is I'm spending time, but um, the amount of abrasion that I'm doing is is literally microscopic. Um, I expect that that the the likelihood is very strong that I will do this work and and the razor will shave as extraordinarily well as it did before, uh, with no real change in in comfort. I don't expect, as I mentioned, I don't expect a change in in um, sharpness i think it's 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 incredibly sharp um i'm i'm doing this to to sort of test test if i can manipulate the edge to change its comfort um and i i doubt it's already comfortable so i i doubt that that there will be a change but you know you never know till you try so that's that's <laughs> that's my state of mind when i tinker is you know what what will happen Okay, so let's uh, stop yammering and start testing here. Um, yeah, not not unexpected results. Um, very very sharp. Okay, we got that. Um, I'm going to. Um, what am I going to do here? I'm going to pause and uh, strop and then come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, just did 25 laps on 
uh, and I don't have my, my, um, uh, I only have my, um, uh, uh, fire hose linen strop handy. So I use that. Uh, the Kaniyama strop is, is hanging upstairs, uh, uh, near the bathroom that I used to shave. Um, and I was too lazy to walk up there. So, um, I did the laps on the, on the fire hose, uh, and people have asked me, you know, why are you stropping before your final work on the stone? And the answer is, um, again, this kind of relates to tinkering. Um, the stropping convexes the, the, uh, edge right at the apex. Uh, and, um, if you go to science of sharp, the science of sharp, uh, blog, you can, and website, you can find, you can find, uh, information about that. And so, um, I'm looking to present a, to take the, take the edge as a braided, as finished. Um, and then, um, and then, and then convex, convex the, that edge right at the apex and then present that new shape, that convex shape. So I take an edge that hopefully is like this and then convex it and present that shape to the stone for final finishing. Um, uh, and, and, and after that, of course, we're going to be, we're going to be stropping. But the concept is that I present this this shape to to final finishing. The final finishing turns it into something like this, uh, and and so there's actually less metal at the end of this. And then and then after after finishing, then we go to strop it and we put back we put back uh, a convex a convex shape, um, but presumably it's it's slightly thinner than than what we have here. And I can't, I, my, my scope is, is very good and it's calibrated. I can do, I can do measurements um, in, in this plane, in this X, Y plane. I can do measurements, but uh, I can't, I can't look, I can't look at it in 3D. And so I don't, what I'm telling you is, is my mental model of what I think is happening. But I don't, I don't have a way to, to to actually uh, get any, any real data on this. So this is conjecture on my part. All right, um, let's see here. We're gonna do water first. So let me, uh, I think these videos would be about five minutes if I didn't talk. All right, um, again, I'm doing that, that, Maintaining the same pressure I had before of, of almost none. I have just a thin layer of water here. So thin that, that I'll be surprised. I'm getting a little bit of it to, to come up over the edge. But um, I really don't expect much here. I'm going to maintain this super light pressure. And I'm going to... Do more X strokes to do some cleaning because we've done some edge abrasion, we've done some stropping, but I have not done much of this. I've also received questions about, you know, why don't I do the same, the same, the same sequence of strokes all the time? And um, the answer to that is. Um, I, I kind of know, I've been at this, as I've mentioned, a long time, and I kind of know what each type of stroke does. And um, I have a feeling, more, more than anything else, experience has given me a feeling for uh, <laughs> what I can get away with, I think, is, is, is the best way to put this. So I don't, I don't, I, I have a set, an overall plan that I use for sharpening, um, everything I sharpen, um, but it's sort of stream of consciousness uh, for me um, for each individual, each individual sharpening. I, I kind of go by, at the moment, what I think, 
what I think the unit needs, what I think the item I'm sharpening needs. This is starting to do the sticking thing. I don't know whether we tested or not. I don't think we did, so we'll do that after this. Very slow X strokes, and I'm I'm going slowly so I can feel. Uh, I do not want, I don't want to go quickly enough for, for this to stick. I want it, I want it to continue sliding along the surface. Um, all right, so I'm now going to test. Yeah, let's see here. Whoa. So absolutely just And here's not that super du super duper. Uh, it was so. I may have. Changed something. It was good there. All right. Um, so we're 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 still in very good shape. Um, let's uh, let's go to soap soap solution. Got a little water for this stage. Because I do want to see, I want to see how, how we roll, how, how the, uh, how the solution rolls, rolls across the, across the blade. Very, very smooth. Yeah, that's that's precisely what we want to see. Wow, that's just beautiful. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see this or not, but it's just this is this is where where I say that I I want the uh, the solution to just pop pop up over the over the blade and 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 another way to say that perhaps a better way to say it is that as it, I set the razor down and the minute I start moving it the solution the solution moves up and over the edge and so um, that's t that's telling me that that. And not only is it moving up and over, it's it's moving up and over on the entire edge, and so that's telling me that um, I have that's a flat stone. That's telling me that I have good contact, that the that the edge is also flat, and that um, it's and that the sharpness is evenly distributed across the edge. So. Going, since I'm trying to see how far I can push this, I'm going to overdo this stage a little bit. Mostly just X strokes. This is this is going to be mostly cleaning. I'm going to I forget I don't want to forget that I'm <laughs> I am trying to draw this out. That I have that in theory, I have that convex shape that I want to that I want to abrade a little bit. And then and then pull out again and then um, re-convex with with final stropping. All right, let's that that can pull out a, a, a foil burr. So let's do what we can to. 
I do not want to be, I don't want to be shaving with a burr. I want to be shaving with fresh metal from an edge. The lightness of pressure helps to um, minimize burr. Doesn't, doesn't avoid it, but it certainly creates smaller burr than you would have otherwise. All right, uh, even I am anxious to see what we have created here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to uh, pause you um, um, and then come back. Okay, that was the last five stropping laps um, out of 60. So I did uh, 30 laps on uh, fire hose linen and 60 laps on my uh, bench strop. This is steer hide leather. Um, so I've got effectively 30 and 60. Um, on this, I'm going to test And as you can see, this is just like pushing, pushing into a cloud. Um, so um, prior to coming back, I took an image of uh, the edge as it as it appeared coming off of the uh, soapy soapy solution um, that was on the Nakayama. Um, and so uh, the only thing I've really done is the stropping and this final testing. And everything is looking good so I'm going to take an image of uh, the the final edge um, uh, on this on this razor then I'm going to go test shave and when I come back from the test shave I'll let you know um, my I'll, I'll give you audio over the final image that lets you know what the uh, what the test shave showed and um, Perhaps if you, in the comments, you might want to let me know what you think the result will be. I think I know what the result will be, but um, let me know what you think. Uh, anyway, I'll be uh, back after test shaving this edge. Bye. Okay, I'm back from my test shave. And uh, so I shave with a straight razor um, on weekdays, and I use a safety razor on weekends. Um, and I, I don't have a beard, so it's a full face shave that I do. Uh, normally I do two passes, not three, um, because I'm, I, uh, my technique is such that I get pretty close shaves. So, um, so with that background, uh, I fully expected that uh, this touch-up work would have no effect. Um, this razor was shaving really well, very comfortably. But um, the fact is, uh, it bumped it up. I was really surprised by this. I mean, I mean, this is at um, kind of my top level of performance. What I would equate to a freshly honed uh, Philharmonica uh, 14 type type comfort and closeness. Um, and to me, that's that's kind of as far as it goes. Um, I would say that um, an another uh, result of this shave is that uh, I don't I don't feel like um, I need to pursue any greater performance out of this razor. Um, it's pretty phenomenal. So uh, anyway, that's the uh, that's the that's the uh, the way this adventure ended, and I'll see you in the next one.